It is now my pleasure to give the floor to Irene Norstedt, director responsible for the People Directorate within the Directorate General for Research and Innovation at the European Commission. Irene is unfortunately not with us today here in Paris, but kindly agreed to join us virtually. Irene, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Monica, and I hope you can hear me. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. So, uh, dear Thierry, dear Monica, dear Einer, IC Permit uh, Vice Chairs and also all the organizers of this meeting, good morning to everybody participating today and thank you so much for inviting me to speak at this opening of the IC Permit Conference in Paris. And a special thank you, of course, to uh, Thierry and Monica and the Agence Nationale de la Recherche for hosting the event today. We very much appreciate uh, this. I would, of course, very much like to be there myself in person um, to meet all of you. It's a long time ago and really exchanged views uh, on the development of personalized medicine. You know that this is a subject which is very close to my heart. Uh, but unfortunately, I cannot be there in person today, but I'm glad that I could participate like this at, at least. And as you know, personalized medicine has been one of our focus areas in the European Union support to health research and innovation now for many, many years. And uh, even if the implementation of personalized medicine is not as fast as one might, might wish, the approach is really gaining attraction and importance now, and we see this across the world uh, through the support actions that we are financing. And also, I was happy to hear Monica mentioning that 60 countries are participating in the meeting today, and I think this is really great news. We can also see this um, through the numerous debates, publications, conferences, and of course, through the increasing number of uh, medical products approved by European Medicines Agency and of course, the US Food and Drug Administration that are targeting specific patient groups. And uh, of course, the concept of personalized medicine appeared in the field of cancer with pharmacogenomic medicines. But uh, of course, it's not limited to cancer, and I'm really glad to see it's really expanding into other disease areas as well. And of course, uh, personalized medicine is no longer also limited uh, to the so-called omics. Nowadays, personalized medicine is a much wider concept, including a wide array of information gathered around the individual, her or his environment, gender and medical history. This means that the issues and challenges have also changed a little bit. As we expected, personalized medicine is not a sudden revolution, but rather a steady evolution towards a new way of maintaining people healthy and delivering future health care. It is now widely regarded as the medicine of the future. We must therefore be ready for the challenge and ensure that personalized medicine and health care will be accessible and affordable for all as well, leaving no one behind. A remarkable aspect of the IC permit conferences is beyond the high quality of the speakers and participants, a capacity for content development and adaptation of the agendas to the current debates. The program of this year complements and expand, is, expands on the focus of last year on the five perspective of the IC permit vision paper. The emphasis of this year's conference is on personalized medicine in the clinical setting, health economy, data governance, and the involvement of patients and the innovation environment are welcome since among the issues at stake are a faster evolution of the, clin of the clinic towards personalized medicine, the need to contain healthcare costs and increase health economic benefits in an inflationary context, the opportunity to better use the accumulation of data for health research and innovation while structuring the independence of data-based healthcare in Europe. The involvement of patients and more generally citizens taking into account the aftermath of the pandemic that has exhausted healthcare workforces and populations and the necessity, necessity to create a sustainable innovation environment for the benefit of patients, healthcare systems, and the European industry. 
Over the past decade, Bijou has supported research and innovation projects in personalized medicine with grants amounting to at least 3 billion euros from different parts of the EU research framework programs. One example of a very successful project that has been funded by us is the UPGX project. This stands for Ubiquitous Pharmacogenomics, and this project has delivered results that paved the way for the implementation of pharmacogenomic guidelines in the clinical setting to reduce severe drug adverse events. It contributes to the improvement of safety and efficacy for pharmacotherapy by proving evidence for the implementation of preemptive pharmacogenomic testing. I invite you to have a look at the project website for further information, because this is really a significant progress forward in this area. Another promising aspect of personalized medicine is its utilization for individualized prevention. The identification of persons prone to develop a certain disease before any noticeable symptoms appear. The speedy development of information technologies, including machine learning, artificial intelligence, and, and high-performance computing, along with further developments in the life sciences and medical research, will certainly develop up, open up ser several interesting avenues for prevention and early diagnostics in the coming years. Because personalized medicine approaches are increasingly, although insufficiently, used for prevention and early diagnosis, and in view of supporting further research and innovation policies, we published last year a topic called for proposals entitled A Roadmap for Personalized Prevention. The selected project called PROFIT started on the 1st of September this year, so just about a month ago, and it will last for four years. And we very much look forward to what it will deliver. Another action I would like to mention in this field is the Horizon 2020 funded project, Coro Prevention, that is developing personalized secondary prevention program for patients with established coronary heart disease. We will, of course, continue to support research and innovation in personalized medicine under the framework program Horizon Europe, and more particularly through, via the dedicated co-funded partnership between the EU and European countries involving research funders and other public authorities. The aim is to bring together stakeholders, create synergies, coordinate research and innovation actions, and create a critical mass of resources. This partnership will implement the long-term strategic research and innovation agenda with the objective to accelerate the evolution of healthcare towards personalized medicine. It should also contribute to Commission priorities, in particular to the Europe's Beating Cancer Plan through synergies with the Mission on Cancer. Personalized medicine is historically linked to the fight against cancer and can greatly contribute to improving prevention, diagnosis and treatment. In addition to development of more efficient and targeted therapies, it is important to identify individuals at high risk of developing cancer and propose them personalized approaches to prevention and care. This partnership could also see cooperation with the EIT Health, one of the innovation communities uh, of the European Institute uh, of EIT. Uh, for their, their network of partners in business, research and education, and their goal to strengthen healthcare systems and bring health technology solutions to the market. We have received a very strong support from the EU member states and associated countries to Horizon Europe for the establishment of this new co-funded partnership on, med on personalized medicine. Therefore, we expect this partnership to invest somewhere around or above 300 million euros in a seven year period. And of course, we hope that this investment will further significantly progress the area of personalized medicine. We hope this partnership could start in the second half of 2023 and to rapidly address the priorities for education, research and innovation and the implementation of personalized medicine and healthcare. 
This partnership will, of course, build on the knowledge already gained from the IC Permed, the ERA Permed, and the so-called IC Permed family of projects that we have funded under Horizon 2020. Most of these actions may continue within the partnership. However, it seems important to me that the IC Permit maintain its own activities and keeps its autonomy. It has been a fantastic opportunity to debate and set out priority for its members and Europe and beyond through IC Permit. It also provides a flexible framework for cooperation and offers a unique platform for communication and exchange with non-European entities that may not participate to the actions of the Partnership for Personalized Medicine. Therefore, IC Permit is in itself a tool that are already contributing massively towards making personalized medicine happen and will continue to do so. I would like to thank you wholeheartedly for this work and encourage you to look for opportunities in our programs to support research and innovation and also to continue the collaboration and the networking amongst you. I wish you all a successful conference. Thank you, Irene, for your words and for your constant support for IC Permit and Personalized Medicine as a topic itself since over 10 years. We are looking forward to Horizon Europe, the European Partnership for Personalized Medicine, and new opportunities to further foster personalized medicine reflections and developments. Thanks, Irene.